honestly, who even remembers the spell exists? Hey guys, Light Force here, bringing you a new video shedding light on the second most hated spell in all of War Dragons, Elemental Mayhem. This is Reverse Projectile's weird cousin that, when it came out, was really considered poor. It has a much shorter range than is expected and does not work with any red mages around. Due to this combination and it only being effective at the time with only storm and lightning towers, it was considered rather weak, especially since you would focus down usually those two towers. Lately, Pocket Gem has been updating the spell and it will now make all elemental towers, including fire and ice currently, and as of patch 3.2, it'll also affect all black towers. And it'll make them all attack each other or simply freeze up. You'll notice this uh, when I approach a lightning tower. It'll just freeze up when there's nobody around. So here's that example of a lightning tower freezing up when you use elemental mayhem and it has no other other ta elemental tower to attack at the moment. It'll just hold in all lightning, which makes it kind of weak, but when there's a crowd of elemental towers, it can really make a difference. Can the spell make lightning towers attack standard towers? No, it can't. This spell has always been known to be a little bit glitchy, so some players have stayed away from it. What are the best times to use this spell? It's when you know that you can take out a red tower, and there's either lightning towers, there's ice and fire set up together, or flak. And right now, one of the most popular combinations is ice, Fire, Storm, and the two uh, red mages. Or the, or the players are going to do a Storm, a Red, and Ice, or they're going to do a Storm, Ice, and Flak Tower. And if you can just Elemental Mayhem those towers, that's a huge chunk of a base's defense.